Hello guys, nice to meet you. My name is Daniel. I hope you hear me well. Write me some pluses to the chat and uh, I will know that everything cool with our connection today. Welcome to run the camp. First of all, welcome to run the camp. Uh, today we will work with this beautiful picture. Where is my webcam? Huh? Uh, okay, I hope I will. Uh, I'll fix it. No. No, my webcam doesn't work. I don't know why, but okay, never mind. My webcam doesn't work today. So uh, anyway, today we will work. Th that's a real video. And yes, I will <clears throat> comment uh, your works, uh, your comments, excuse me. Uh, and today we will work with this beautiful picture. I will show you how to create some uh, picture like that. As you can see, this is a uh, real video. Uh, and I merge real video, I merge my architecture with real video and uh, I'll show you how to uh, make this. Why we, uh, why we start talking about this at all? Because um, a few weeks ago uh, we started some project, uh, something like this uh project um, with animation we got this project with animation and uh, uh we discover a lot of new things uh, a lot of new things to do and uh, we want to share uh, some basic information maybe inspire you inspire you a little bit um this is really common tools this is really simple things so i uh, you have no render long animation you haven't you shouldn't have uh really powerful computer that's simple simply to do so uh i want to just inspire you and show you a few tricks um how to make something like that we will not model uh, architecture because model uh, architecture are not so necessary in this frame i will show you exactly pipeline how to work uh with this uh and how to get pretty cool result pretty fast i have i hope that will pretty fast. I think um, one hour and we will finish this workshop. So uh, stay tuned and we will work pretty fast. So uh, first of all, I would like to explain you that's I make this shot uh, using my DJI Mavic 3 Mi Mavic Mini 3 Pro. So that's uh, one of the smallest drone. It's uh, pretty cheap. Okay, this is not cheap, but not so expensive like big drones. And um, as you can see, this is not stable video. So if you will uh, pay attention to the corner of this video somewhere here, uh, you will notice then uh, camera moves too. So this is not a stable standing uh, camera too. And that's why it is, it makes some live, uh, it gives some live feeling into our video. And I like this effect too. It, it feels like part of the real video. Um, so uh, I don't add to this shot any post-production absolutely especially because I understand all of you or most of you uh, know how to add curves, how to make it brighter, lighter. If you, if you don't know, I can show you some tips and tricks in the post-production uh, with animation in the end of workshop. But uh, anyway, that's a pretty cool way to uh, show your clients something really new, something fresh. Maybe make your um, uh, portfolio a little bit fresher, a little bit more realistic, a little bit more nice. Uh, I hope that really can inspire you to make something really new instead of just usual architectural visualization when we have just a box in the middle of the frame and nothing more. So I will close this video. And first of all, <clears throat> what exactly I have to do? First of all, I should take a picture uh, of my real video. So this is my video. Yeah, uh, I can uh, start it. I can make it bigger. I can start the video and I will make a print screen. Yes, I'll work with all step by step to to explain you all small things uh, you have to do. File new. Uh, this is my proportion of the frame. I will remove this part of yeah, like this and I will save it for web. Nothing difficult. Uh, save. I'll save it somewhere here. Let's call it uh, screenshot number two. 
okay because first one that was which with the uh, were um, a print screen i work with uh, before uh, so uh, this is it nothing difficult uh, this is my uh, 3ds max i will reset nothing pre-build mm, i think i should turn off my animation oh uh, what else i should uh, go to render settings uh i will s choose another little bit different proportions i will check um, a resolution of uh, of the video because that's uh important i think uh 3840 yeah so 3840 uh this uh numbers will be the same so that's clear uh what's next nothing difficult i would like to create uh oh no i should uh check scale of my frame unit setup uh millimeters and millimeters here too that's really important so uh oh i can make my microphone a little bit higher that's yeah um What's next? I should go to the cameras and I'll create just simple camera. It should be front of you. So I'll work with this. Uh, second point, next point, this is a camera angle, but I don't know which camera angle I should choose. So I should go to the uh, somewhere to the internet. No, somewhere here. No, no. Okay. Uh, G, 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 I. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll type my name. Um, D, G, I. <clears throat> this one. Yeah. Camera angle. So I'll go to specs of this camera and I am looking for the field of view or something like this, uh, of my camera. Yes. Lens field of view 20 uh, 82 uh, degrees but this is not full frame so uh, I can't use exactly <clears throat> uh, this camera angle but I can use uh, this equivalent so 24 millimeters and that's uh, more clear why because uh, here I have a uh, full frame equivalent of uh, my uh, DSLR camera. So anyway, I'll use exactly 24, mm, uh, exactly millimeters. That's important. Yeah. So that will be my camera, front of view, everything clear. I already prepare a simple model of um, architecture. So I'll just uh, merge it to my scene. I will show it to you. That's pretty simple. Nothing difficult. Uh, I will not spend uh, time to work with this. Uh, okay, that's clear. Uh, and I'll, as I understand, I, I will rotate mm, 90 degrees. Yeah, that's clear something like that i'll put it here i'll place it to the zero level because in case i will upload some models much better much comfortable will we work with a zero level floor yeah so to to place them in the right position and my camera angle already right so i should place my house in the right position or maybe not exactly house exactly camera uh, but do not change uh, direction of the camera. That's important. So let's uh, uh, put uh, this screenshot to the background. So a viewport background, not environment map. Uh, be careful with that. Uh, that's clear. So where exactly we will place a house? I think somewhere here next to the next to these bushes. So I would like to uh put them somewhere somewhere here yeah like 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 this maybe a little bit higher a little bit lower it is it depends on your situation uh, i would like to show you just a technical technical part of the work yeah so what's next next we should um 
uh, build the ground for this geometry. That's not uh, something difficult, but we should understand where this geometry cross the ground. Somewhere here, yeah? And this geometry, uh, I mean, this column cross the ground somewhere here behind the bushes, I think. Um, so let's make this. Uh, I'll create some plane that's a zero level, so I can place it somewhere here. And uh, I'll put it somewhere a little bit lower than these bushes. Yeah, I, I, I think like this. Yeah. Uh, let's change. Let's make it longer, I think, like this. And let's modify this drum tree because ground angle should be, uh, I think, like this yeah uh i think this line should be parallel to the to the to the hill of the of the mountain i think yeah and here the same i'll make it higher yeah because i see this line so it should be a little bit higher i think like this uh i i think my ground should cross the building somewhere here so then i will uh, make something like this and ground will goes higher so i need these these geometry just for shadows so, so i will add here some shadow catcher uh something like this so a little bit longer in both sides sides and that's that's enough i think uh what next next is uh uh work with right shaders of these geometry so i'll create some corona layer red Oh no! Why layer it? I don't. I don't need layer it. I'll material Corona, for example, legacy, like this. I think a little bit darker, like this. I think I always work with small amount of reflection. Okay, glossiness. Okay, now Blender 3D, Blender uh, Archi. Archie Wiz Blender is better for very very fix. <laughs> come on, guy! <laughs> oh, come on! Welcome, welcome to Run the Camp. You can join our course. We will teach you. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so I will apply the shader to all these drum tree. Of course, we should have uh, some glass shader uh, to. Um, to the glass, something like that. Uh, reflection levels should be lower than absolutely white, something like this. Um, and I will apply it here. Yeah, so uh, what next? We need to have some lighting. Uh, for lighting, I will, I will download some some shader, something like this. That's absolutely fine because here we have um, that's website with free uh, with free um, HDRI maps uh, and uh, you can download them absolutely for free and you can use them absolutely for free too. Uh, but we need the um, um, HDRI map with uh, direct sunlight without clouds, without so with similar situation, yeah something like this but that is not so important to have exactly a high resolution because this is just for lighting uh so 4k we will be absolutely enough hdri exactly not exr because here we have a exr too and we can just download but to be honest i have it on the desktop and i'll take it from the desktop um save replace okay never mind so i'll go back to the which one is yeah this one i think um i'll go to my render settings yeah i'll go to single map somewhere here corona bitmap uh desktop control v enter control v because i copy its name yeah uh okay that's i hope that will be cool uh, and directly visible override uh, of course here we should put exactly the same picture like here uh, but um, okay let's make it uh, I will copy this picture here yeah and I will 
turn on all these checkboxes. Okay, okay, okay. And I'll start my render to just to check what I've got right now because to be honest, I'm not sure. Maybe everything cool, maybe not. Yeah, ACES make their terrible work. Thank you for that. Uh, for this work, uh, I think better turn off ACS. That doesn't mean ACS something bad or something good. This is not about this. This is about uh, right now. Right now, this uh, function um, uh, not help me at all. So, uh, I have a visible background here and this background absolutely the same like here. That's cool. Um, uh, what else? I think nothing, we will not modify it anyhow, uh, and I will just rotate, I, I think I'll make my frame a little bit smaller like this, because I will work with uh, material editor and settings, something like this, uh, so uh, I should rotate it, I mean my lighting, uh, 30, uh, 60, 90, because I think uh, sun should uh, should go from the right side somewhere here. So 90 looks pretty cool. I'm not sure I use exactly the same, um, exactly the same uh, position. I, this is not so important, guys. Yeah, I, I would like to share with you exactly pipeline, step-by-step -step system. So maybe in, in real, in, in previous project, I made it a little bit in a different way. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so that looks pretty cool, a little bit lighter than I need. I mean, gray material, but anyway, I'll make it better later. Uh, so what's next? Material, Corona, Ray, uh, no, uh, Corona, Shadow, Catcher, MTL. Yeah, uh, what exactly? I should place uh, back plate, uh, this, the same camera, um, the same picture to the back plate. I should apply it here. Yeah, uh, we have our shadow, uh, but we've got uh, blue red. Um, I don't know this part. I don't like it, so uh, I can change it to environment projection. Da -da 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 -da, something. Uh, and we've got these shadows. That's pretty cool, pretty cool angle, so we can apply it, but of course we don't have um, we don't have um, bushes and we don't have what exactly, what else we don't have? Um, uh, alpha, yeah? On the alpha channel, we have absolutely white thing, and that's not cool for us because when we will compose it, uh, everything will be a little bit broken, so that's not cool stuff for us. So what exactly we should do? Uh, we should render two different uh, pictures. One picture for um, uh, for this frame and another picture for alpha. Alpha renders absolutely fast, so you shouldn't be uh, afraid of this. Uh, for composing, unfortunately in Corona it works like this. Uh, yes, here we will got black picture, but uh, in shadow uh, excuse me, in alpha, we will got absolutely uh, cool looking alpha channel and we will have possibility to work with this alpha channel. That's greatest benefit for us, advantage and so on. Yeah, uh, we don't have any other opportunities. So uh, uh, we can uh, change it for uh, always... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, always transparent will be always transparent, that's clear. Always uh, solid will be always solid. For composing, only for always, uh, for all composing, we will get right alpha channel. So that's clear. So next thing is, uh, we should place some bushes into the right places of the camera. And of course, we should make um, acceptable all the things in this um in this uh, in this uh, frame, yeah. So this frame should look a little bit more, a little bit better. So what exactly I have to do? I will do. I think uh, ring. Uh, I think I'll add some. I can stop this render because I don't need it for this moment. Uh, not bad, but I I want to have more like this. Yeah, that's better. 
Okay, connect. Ring. Connect. Uh, ring. Connect. Connect. Uh, ring. Connect. Something like that. Ring. Connect. Okay. Of course, we can add some Turbo Smooth. Uh, we can convert it to Double Poly. We can add some uh, paint deformation a little bit, push and pull. Yeah, a little bit bigger scale. I think brush size, for example, five meters. I don't know how how, how big it should be. Uh, Ten millimeters. I think that should be to not not enough. So I'll make it just uh, somewhere bigger, somewhere lower, higher, somewhere lower, something like that. Just just not one line. I've got, as you understand, that's only about shadows, yeah? And I can make it minus 100 and I'll do the same. So just make shadows a little bit curved, yeah? Just a little bit, nothing more. Uh, okay, so what's next? Uh, next thing is here I have some bush. I take it from Max 3 uh, collection. I, to be honest, I don't remember which one. Uh, but uh, this is just a small bush from Max 3, nothing difficult, you can find similar bush everywhere, i absolutely sure that... Uh, so, this is not something special, this is just a simple thing. Uh, I'll play, of course you can find better, better, bigger, uh, higher quality, everything you want. So, now um, we start doing something really interesting, uh, in my opinion, yeah? Uh, so, what exactly we have to do right now? This is my shot. So, here we have some bushes. So, I will place these bushes into the uh, same place. And here, the same. I will use it like um, something like alpha. So, uh, uh, I'll put it on, on top of this geometry. I, I'll make it bigger like that. It should be the same high. Maybe I can make it. No, no. For example, like this. Okay. Uh, and then I will scale it uh, till the till the same shape like we have in the uh, in the background. That's I can say this is a key moment, but this, in my opinion, that's a little bit important. Uh, I will rotate it a little bit. Okay, I will rotate it with gim with with local, yeah, like this, uh, like this. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, what's next? I will mm, pretty pretty cool place for for it. And as I can see, I should have another one. Okay, instance. Uh, for example, somewhere here, closer, or I don't know. They shouldn't be in one line. I think you 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 can create your own composition. I don't know. Uh, yep. Okay, so I uh, will duplicate it somewhere here. I uh, will place it somewhere here too because I need to cover uh, pretty, no, a little bit lower. Yeah, so I can put it on the ground. That's not a problem at all. I can make it bigger. Okay, that's cool. And the same with this drum tree, uh, with the, with this um, column. Yeah. So I'll maybe I'll make it bigger, or I just I just, uh, here we have just uh, uh, just uh, just some grass. I'm not sure that's really big important thing. So uh, I will work with this. 
I will try to work in this way, yeah? So, and of course, I'll copy the shader and I will place it, um, I will replace this shader for these bushes. So, in fact, I'll have right now something which will cover, yeah, my geometry. But, of course, I want to have some relation between uh, these bushes and these uh, bushes on the, mm, yeah. On the, on the background. Uh, here, I don't want to work with this because uh, with exposure, because uh, anyway, I'll have this possibility in the on the next stages. So if you want to make them, uh, for example, brighter, you can make them brighter uh, exactly here in the output amount of HDRI map, yeah? So you can make it stronger like this or less, I don't know. Mm, I think that's that could be pretty pretty cool. Uh, so, what's next? Next thing is uh, I think what about reflection? Mm. Okay. Uh, so let's work with this color and I can make my shader, uh, my render preview a little bit bigger to, to catch maybe some details. I don't know. Uh, first of all, I will focus on this bush and, uh, I'll put it something darker uh, don't pay attention to numbers i use this is not about numbers this is about eff effect i've got yeah so your numbers can be higher lower this is not so important at all i just want to uh, make some relation between this object and this object yeah on the background so it should be pretty dark warm something like that and of course a lot of um, really important thing uh, is the translucency color so I'll make it like 0 0.32, I don't know, like that. Maybe a little bit lighter, warmer, a little bit more yellow. Now more green. Okay, a little bit higher. Translucence level, not so high. I can, I can just select this region and check what I have. Not so bright, but more saturated, I think. Yeah, so I should mix it with, with the background. So that's, it should start, uh, looks like uh, background. Yeah. So this is some bush. Of course, I can work with, uh, with a color, with a color red texture and a regional shader. But anyway, of course I should rebuild it a little bit. Uh, maybe glossiness should be higher. That's clear. But most important thing here, this is opacity, of course. Uh, so I'll uh, apply here Corona bitmap and I'll go to the uh, to the folder where I have this bush. To be honest, I have I absolutely don't remember which bush I use, so I can check it in original frame. I I just will check which folder. Uh, fifty six. Uh, rosemary. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go to the same folder. Computer. No. Okay, no, not projects, uh, texture, textures, no, models, uh, max three, that was 57, yeah, as I, as I remember, yeah, 56, excuse me, 56, maybe 56 new, no, new or old, because they have two, let's check it, new. 56 new. Uh, 56 new maps, maps, somewhere rosemary, uh, blah, 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 blah. flower, leaf, trunk, 
I, I think that's leaves. Yeah, rosemary. This one. Let it be leaves. Okay. Update. Yeah, guys, I see your question, but I will uh, I'll answer a little bit later in the end of workshop because if I will uh, change my point of attention, I can that will be not comfortable for me. Okay, so a little bit later. Uh, so I I think it should be a little bit darker, maybe colder. Uh, the better you'll make right now. The better result you'll get in the end. I think not so warm. No, it should be lighter exactly. Okay, so what if I'll make it, uh, uh, yeah, like this, but darker. Of course, we should check. Yeah, where is my, uh, this frame? Yeah, I'll check it here. Yeah, that looks pretty cool, but I think it should be one more time, a little bit darker. I understand here is looks a little bit scary too close to black. But this, this is because uh, Autodesk rebuilt uh, their color selector. So don't be afraid. Yeah, that's looks pretty comparable with my picture. Uh, maybe a little bit colder, 45. Yeah. I, I think that looks absolutely cool together. Uh, of course, here in between two, uh, this line can't be so sharp, yeah? And there, this line can be so sharp too, so I think I'll place here some bush too. Let's stop this render and I'll save this file because if my 3ds Max will crash, I will kill someone like this. Okay, instance. I'll make it bigger and maybe lower like that. You got some shadows, not so sharp. And of course, I'll have uh, I will have possibility to clear this line if I'll need it. Okay, let's start rendering again. So my goal is a little bit, oh, that's two big leaves, yeah, here. So I should make them smaller, two big scale. I, 
I know that you know we can scatter all our bushes, but scattering in this case will render much longer. And I don't want this. I want to just make some fast result because I made a regional project in a in an hour, so may, maybe in a two hours. So that's really fast work. Okay, and I I I think here we have. Um, some more yellow bush or oh, grass so i'll make this uh another bush is a little bit lower uh oh and a little bit a uh, little bit more yellow maybe a little bit lighter okay i just apply copy of the same shader to this drum tree yeah that's that's clear uh, and I think just warmer, little, just a little bit. I can turn off it for for a moment. A little bit more saturated, yeah. Not this direction. I I would like to uh, that you know we will not work with this bush. We we will remove most of this part. But we have to, we shouldn't have exactly direct line of the shadows. That's and here the same problem. We should move it a little bit to to us to avoid this um, absolutely direct line. I'll make it even darker. Yeah, guys, write me your countries. That's always interesting to know where you come from. Okay, I'll stop this render. I'll select these bushes and I'll move them a little bit closer to me. No. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Of course, you can work with um, uh, much more detailed interior part. I will not do that. But I can um, advise you to uh, add here uh, some additional lighting uh, for um, interior part. I made some lightings like this and I'll make target a little bit lower a little bit to the right side like this yeah okay so I'll turn off it to start doing this picture Okay, so turn on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Of course, I will turn off directly visible reflection. Okay, not maybe not reflection, but refraction uh, for sure. I'm not sure about so high intensity, but um, I think physically it should be bigger. Yeah, but intensity should be much lower. Yeah something like that is it should be warmer or colder i don't know let's check mm, i don't know i'm not sure we need to change it but l let me uh kind of let me explain you why we made it yeah just 
just to get some effect of deepness of this interior yeah and uh, the same for uh, um, opposite side uh copy because uh here we will have absolutely different settings of course uh i can view part yeah like this of course it should oh occlude other lights yeah that's and here the same occlude other lights uh i shouldn't have so bright lighting and direction should be absolutely different uh, and maybe directionality should be a little bit stronger uh, why exactly i need it to have some uh different between this and this frame and or, or side of side of furniture i think so, for example like this yeah mm, right now too intensive of course I'm not sure uh, about direction. Let's use lights. Yeah, and okay, so let's compare this with and without it. Yeah, do you see this? Like, uh, we start to have some uh deepness depth of this frame something like that um what about color of gray material of course it depends and of course you will work with your own project uh i think a little bit lighter it should be i think right now that looks pretty cool so uh I, I, I like what I see right now. Um, I've got everything pretty cool. And I'll start doing exactly render. So, a production render with all uh, quality you need. One more time, guys. If you need uh, to make your interior more detailed with some shaders, work with this. This is not our goal for today. Our goal for today uh, that set up this scene and understand how to work with this type of um, uh, pictures. Yeah, because right now our render will start. Oh, excuse me. I'll stop it. I I'll cancel it because I need uh, to have denoiser. I want to have denoiser. Denoising mod, Corona high quality, uh, full amount. Yeah. Uh, resolution we already set up. If you just join our workshop, welcome to Render Camp. Uh, we already set up our resolution, so I'll start uh, doing render exactly here. So uh, we can start with Premiere Pro because we should merge this uh, render, this still image render, with um, with uh, animation. We should place it so everything should move yeah so a uh, new project we'll call it somehow yeah create new um yeah replace why not because i didn't say previous one to be honest okay so i'll go to my folder where is it somewhere here this is my uh video from the drone i didn't compress it i didn't modify it anyhow this is uh, 60 frames per second uh original resolution to be honest no any s difficult settings in my drone because i have no idea how to set up it difficultly yeah uh so I'll place it here, exactly Premiere Pro. So I'll put it to the timeline. Uh, why I use uh, pay, um, uh, Premiere Pro? Because in real project, you will uh, merge this frame with a different frames. Yeah, so that will be just part of your original frame. Maybe you will film another uh, angles, camera angles. Maybe you will merge it um, uh, with uh, some sunrise or some another ideas of, of uh, filming. I don't know. So anyway, you should know how to work with Premiere Pro because you will render 
uh, we will render it with Premiere Pro 2. But, of course, we will track our camera in After Effects. So, now uh, let's push this button and uh, replace with After Effects with blah 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 composition. I didn't read it. So, right now, After Effects will uh, be turned on. Yeah. And this sequence will be opened uh, in uh, After Effects. And we will start tracking our camera because that will uh, it will take some time to I will save it to desktop they will propose me to replace something because I create some test project on the desktop already to yeah so uh, here we are yeah this is our frame I can start uh, I can start playing it yeah but um, here is uh, not real time because uh, video is still uploading um, something like that. So, anyway, we should track motion. This is this function. If you don't have this window, you should go to uh, window and tracker somewhere here. And that's how you will open this uh, position. Yeah, then you should push track motion and you should go to this uh, small something. And I will place this tracker to this position. Right now, I will... Um, start track this uh track this and because it will take time yeah we should go to very first frame and then we should push uh play button yeah and everything will start so right now we start tracking but uh everything goes yeah no Okay, looks uh, like I break everything. Okay, let's go to the first one. Yeah, okay, like this. Let's do it again. Okay, so right now tracking goes. But the question is, why exactly here? Uh, to be honest, I try a lot of different points on this uh, frame and everything uh, in the end... Um, camera not camera my architectural motion looks not so realistic because uh, i don't know because of something uh and exactly this point give me the best result so that's why um i show you exactly this point so in your you should be ready to rebuild your uh, tracking point a few times. And first time tracking, I don't know why, but first time tracking um, this uh, writing, reading, creating uh, goes longer than all next times. Not so big difference, but a little bit longer. That's like in, in the feeling, yeah? My, my feeling, maybe that's bullshit. Uh, so, anyway, uh, I try some point here, some point on top of this bush, some points here, some point on the grass. Uh, nothing works better than this point. Uh, uh, to be honest, that was like five or six tries, yeah? So, not, not so much, but I spent some, something like 10 or 15 minutes to find the best uh, point for that. So, let's... Uh, check what we have here. Uh, okay, so that's not perfect, but anyway, uh, everybody understand we should render a little bit longer uh, to have absolutely clear picture and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's clear. Uh, so I will stop render and I wait to denoising uh, because, because I need to wait denoising. Okay, and we'll we'll go to uh, I'll copy it like this. Let's put it. Okay, let's create it here. And uh, as I told you in the beginning, we should uh, render it with a different alpha channel. Okay, after save uh, this one and for compositing. And I'll start rendering one more time.
that, yeah, I know that's not so comfortable to do. Uh, but anyway, only in this way we will got the this type of alpha channel we uh, uh, we need to have it, really. But we don't need to render wait this render too long time. I think half of minute just to get a little bit more sharp lines, and uh, I will stop it. That will be enough. Of course, for production quality, you can render, for example, 10 minutes. Yeah, that's not too long time. But anyway, 10 minutes, that's too too much for the stream, live stream like this. Uh, but uh, absolutely okay for a real project. Yeah. Okay, let's check what we have here. So tracking still goes, yeah, tracking still goes. Yeah, do you see this point still moves? So it, it takes time, like five minutes, something like that, but that's absolutely clear. Okay, I can stop this render. I hope everything will be cool. I'll wait for denoiser. Maybe denoiser will help me a little bit to sharp these lines or make this line sharper. Okay, and of course I'll call, uh, copy it with Ctrl C, uh, and I'll place it here. Uh, of course I will use this frame like alpha channel uh, for this frame. So something like that. Uh, mask channel layer mask. Mm -hmm. Turn turn it off. Drum bomb. Yeah, so this is exactly alpha channel. So uh, all background absolutely transparent. Yeah, so uh, then we can add here uh, absolutely this, the same picture we have like this. Yeah, okay, I can make it bigger. Control T. Uh, we will not use it in production. This is just for uh, check in uh, our everything. Okay, right now that's pretty cool. Now, I think our, as you can see our uh, frame a little bit more blue red, but we will add some blue green effect, motion blue effect in the in the after effect. But here we can add small amount of blueness too because it will not merge with all picture uh, other picture. Yeah, so. Filter, uh, blur, uh, you can use Gaussian blur or you can use blur tool, it doesn't, it, it not so important. No, zero fine, that's too much. That's too much too, maybe 0 0.2. Okay, so uh, I think I'll take this uh, tool. Um, no. Where is blur tool? Yeah, blur tool. And I'll blur it a little bit. That's not enough. Exactly, bushes. And maybe not everywhere, just in the places where I... Uh, where I see connection with the uh, real grass. Okay, so uh, let's uh, go for this uh, mask and work with this mask uh, and in fact we will merge this mask with uh, our drum tree. I can use some special brush. No, that's not looks cool. Wet brushes.
To be honest, I don't need these shadows from these bushes. I need to uh, merge my bushes with bushes we have in the uh, in the in the anime uh, in the uh, video original video. But it should looks good together. So we should find the place where it looks. Cool. It was not bad. And I want to blur it a little bit more. Or and make it maybe darker. that okay I didn't work here yet Oh, yeah, and of course, it should be applied to just to this layer, to not to bottom part. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to... Maybe not so strong. Yeah, like this. I think here not enough of grass. Yeah, I still see this sharp line, so better to uh, re rebuild it for real frame. So I just remove it better. Anyway, the goal was to to make this life not so sharp, and I make it. Okay. I'm not sure about this line, because without it... I'm not sure I need it, because here we will have uh, uh, animated grass and... Maybe this line shouldn't be so sharp too. I'm just playing with that. You should understand that's not the rules. Be because I understand this is a grass and uh, we will not have so sharp shadow on the grass, I think. Here the same, but I can't or I can't avoid uh, this sharp line already. Uh, so that's uh, okay. Okay, if you need some sharpness or, I don't know, maybe contrast, maybe something else, maybe we can add right now, uh, curves, level, brightness, contrast, yeah, let's add it. Not everywhere, I think, just on the bushes somewhere, no?
like that. Mm -hmm. So that's how we hide uh, this architecture and we put it into the into the frame. But uh, of course, I will remove the background and I will save it or export it as PNG to the desktop with some special name, for example, 123-0321, uh, 1230, like this. Absolutely special, unique name. Okay. So then I will go to after effect. I hope here we have a uh, target point. So we have tracking point. That's absolutely cool. We should create here null object. Okay. And we should, uh, uh, we should edit target and we should select this null as I remember. Yeah. Uh, in case that will be not your first track here will here can be null zero two or I don't know uh, not first so I will do it like this and apply uh, here we have apply dimensions x and y uh, of course we should use both so right now uh, we merge this null object to uh, to the to the tracking point. So we capture how our camera moves. I hope. Uh, and uh, right now we can add here. Uh, import how how to find this picture we just made mm, on the desktop. One two three. That was uh, yeah. This is it. So. Here we have this geometry, not so difficult, and uh, here is absolutely a simple thing. We should uh, track mate and put it to the null, yes or no. No, I made something wrong. Maybe this one, they look pretty similar. Yeah, this is it. They looks pretty similar to me. Yeah. So right now, as you can see, our frame looks. Uh, oh, I had a small collision here. Yeah. Uh, in my original, uh, in my original uh, camera movement, I these trees doesn't doesn't cross this uh, line. But anyway, they doesn't cross. Almost doesn't cross right now too. Maybe some moments. I right now that's right so we should try to avoid this kind of situation and place our house a little bit to left maybe a few pixels to the left and everything will be much better and uh, here we have um uh here we have uh here we have motion blur effect so uh, when our camera will move we will get some small motion blur effect in our frame so now, uh, that's how we can uh, work with this geometry. So, right, next thing. Next thing is some small color correction of our house. Because I understand for uh, for real project, that's absolutely clear. But right now, our geometry lights with a blue light. Yeah, but we have absolutely green environment. So, we will, pay, uh, we will get some part of uh, green lighting in the green color in the... In the house, uh, so we should uh, find some effect, uh, something like this. Uh, curve, color, color. Uh, alt to color. No, change color. No, maybe maybe curve, curve. Curves. Sleeping curves, I'm not sure. Maybe better to. I don't know which color better to use. In the in this color, maybe this one. I don't know. To be honest, have no idea. Oh yeah, I yeah I like this. 
Uh, so that's uh, light or middle. So I'll make a little bit more green maybe. Yeah, so we can uh, maybe shadow green balance. Should be nuance, yeah, like this. Yeah, I, I think right now it is much more um, acceptable for this place. Maybe I don't know, to be honest. Uh, so everything cool and we can stop this uh, movement. Yeah, everything cool. We don't need to do anything. But the question is how to render. Because you can say we can render in After Effects. We can render with um, this tool. I forget the name, how to... Ma 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 uh, file uh, uh, export media encoder, but to be honest, uh, I render a lot of times in media encoder, and I've got uh, a lot of troubles with them. That's why I show you so long long line uh, to how to merge it with uh, with Premiere Pro exactly. So as you can see, automatically I do not press anything. I did not save anything. This is automatical replacement because we use uh, replace with After Effect in the beginning. Yeah, and then we can export file export or uh, usually I press this button and uh, I do to be honest I'm too stupid for this uh, to change some uh, changes inside codec of course I can uh, modify it somehow I can uh, make it a little bit slower with uh, frame rate I can change frame rate but to be honest we can make a lot of uh, different um, uh, experiments, uh, tests, uh, which uh, frame rate will be best for exactly this situation. And I'm not sure I am better than guys who create this software. So I save absolutely by default uh, as it was in the beginning uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the DGI and from uh, after uh, Adobe. Adobe Premiere Pro. So, in fact, I just choose uh, desktop and name of this file. So, temp, no, temp, where, no, let's go to computer, NAS, product, project, uh, Portugal, and I will, okay, why not this name? Okay, and press export. Nothing more easy than this. Uh, I don't, um, I'm not sure it will be five minutes exactly, uh, but we should wait uh, some, um, some time for rendering. That's absolutely normal because animation should render and, and in the end we will get absolutely amazing animation uh, with, uh, for, uh, for your project. One more time, guys, that's uh just a basic really common really foundational inspiration for your project because uh maybe you will be inspired to make something like this for your own project and you will propose to your client something really interesting really special and uh, your portfolio will be not so uh not so similar to all 100% other portfolios somewhere in internet. Your Instagram will be a little bit more animated, a little bit more uh, something else. So uh, I hope that's clear. So I would like to propose you join our professional visualization course. And you know, uh, as I told you last week, we uh, work with uh, some real project, uh, re real commercial project, I mean, uh, and that's why I pro I um, decide to work, uh, to show you some part of animation tools today. Uh, and we decide to create a new block of information. We didn't had it before about animation. Of course, we had some information about uh, animation, but not so. So we will work with uh we will create animation for next course exactly uh that will be camera tracking information and information about work with merging uh, uh photography uh, merging animation into moving um animation into still animation into different kind of animations so that will be exactly for next course so that will be 
some kind of unique information for our next course. So, but this is additional information. Uh, why? Because the most important thing about architectural visualization, this is your artistic feeling. And we work with your artistic feeling on our courses. Uh, look, guys, this is, first of all, a uh, really professional course. This is not course for beginners. This course for exactly adult user, users, I mean, um, advanced years, users, of course. Uh, this course for guys who already know how to merge files uh, or 3D, 3D models into scene. That's course for guys who, want, who know how to add shaders. This course is not for beginner, beginners. This course exactly for guys who want to improve their portfolio, who want to work with passion, who want to work with love to their work, who want to make uh, art, not only visualization. Because uh, in our understanding, professional, this is not guy who know all buttons. All buttons, that's important, of course. But this is not about... Uh, Thank you. Why you become so fast? Okay. Uh, so our course is not about buttons. Our course about how to create beautiful pictures, how to make really inspired pictures, how to work with lighting and lighting shadow, how to direct the attention viewers' attention and attention to the right places, how to in uh, how to inspire with your pictures. That's our course about uh that's much more important one of the biggest um part of uh education this is composition we work with we divide three parts of general composition this is object composition so usually you called it uh, let's place camera somewhere, yeah? Let's move camera a little bit. So this is object composition and uh, let's move camera. This is a terrible mistake, of course. You should um, know your composition and you should understand your composition because of next thing. Light and shadow composition should be still. This is not the way to, uh, uh, to play with. This is exactly... Um, uh, you should know how to uh how some objects will looks like will, will looks better and you should feel that and uh when you will direct your lighting into some direction you should know which result you will get and we will teach you i will teach you how to work with lighting and work with shadows because light and shadow composition this is not only about lighting how to set up hdri light no this is about work with light and with shadows because sometimes you will have some small tiny sharp line of lighting and this part will highlight your effect will give you a lot of emotions a lot of inspiration to your client and your client or client of your client will want to buy this, uh, for example, apartment, for example, this architecture. That's not so important what exactly. But I believe that uh, you will get really, really cool inspired result. And then we will work with color composition. Color composition help us pay attention to the right points or direct attention to the uh, right points to the most emotional moments so as you, as you can see i don't try to explain you how to set up your camera of course we work with cameras we will work with cameras set up but our course not about tools our work our course about emotion how to provide emotions into your daily work into your daily renders so if uh, you think like uh, your renders should be better if you want to uh, inspire, if you want to make your uh, renders uh, more inspired, please welcome and join our course. Uh, of course, we work with our pipeline. This is exactly about time management. This is about project management. I will tell you a lot about this on the course and our course build it uh, exactly using real workshop workflow pipelines yeah so that's really important but 
like a little bit uh, project management part of the work. This is another picture of our student. That's me and that's our support team. Uh, we will help you in the in the Discord chat and uh, Irena will help you, Yevhan will help you and Anya will help you. So that's uh, you will get a lot of help with all your questions and we will try to help you and answer your questions so fast as you can. <clears throat> but the most important part of this course, that is, this is live course. Live mean this is not pre-recorded. Yes, we have some pre-recorded parts of the, of, uh, uh, videos, but this is like technical um, answers for some questions. But the most important part, this is exactly live part. And during five weeks of live education, uh, I will answer your questions and I will comment your uh, educational works daily. So every day you will get absolutely, absolutely um uh, full comment uh, about from personally from me during five weeks so 25 comments you will get to, to be honest more because i comment a little bit uh if a few times more after course and uh so you will get daily comment for your work and that's a greatest benefit because nobody will give you that Every, i don't know why but all the companies who work with education. I don't know why, but they just sell their recorded information. We really love to create really great pictures and we're proud of our students' works. All of these pictures, this is our students' work works. And uh, we help them to uh, improve their level. And that's why we got so cool feedback from them. That's real people and they give us real feedback you can check their work you can check their words if that's not enough you can you can check more feedbacks on the main page of render camp okay that's clear so uh what's inside the course inside the course we will have uh 15 live lessons and 15 of the parties and 25 daily comments for your work so 15 um lessons will be about nine about interiors uh six about architecture nine about interiors will be three over cost lighting three sunny daylighting and three uh lessons with uh, some special situations such as uh underground uh, underground places windowless interiors for example, bathrooms, uh, maybe something else with some interesting situation. For example, last quarter that was kitchen at night. Yeah, without exterior uh, exterior lighting. Then we will move to architecture. With architecture, we will work uh, with sunny day lighting because this is most common and uh, to be honest, most powerful uh, tool for uh, daily visualization because 90% of your project will be exactly with nice nice blue sky that's a favorite phrase from our client yeah nice blue sky green grass green greenery shine uh, sunshine brightly and smiling people uh, in the foreground for example yeah something like that and three lessons about some unique situations for example one more time over cost night evening something like that okay so this is a full stack of 3d uh, you really have to should to have uh for your daily work in the in the project uh so welcome this is our participation three different types of uh, participation plan uh first uh, plan replay this is for uh, guys who don't want to get feedback i don't know is this that's a really important uh, part uh profit plan has uh exactly a uh, full course with uh, feedback with daily comments with everything i just show you and we have just uh, two places left uh, of individual 
participation. Uh, this is five individual lessons personally with me. When the course end, we and you already learn all information from me. Uh, we will give you ex We will give you possibility to spend five different lessons uh, lessons personally with me when we will uh, work exactly with your situations, with your questions, with your portfolio, with your scenes with everything you want. We don't have special plan for these lessons because this is individual plan. Yeah, every time this is different plan, but just two places left and pretty, pretty. Uh, it is always pretty fast. We don't have uh, pretty fast. We will have no places for this because just two places. So think about it. Uh, so that's all. Ah, yeah. And one more thing, guys, for those for you, for those who uh, still with us till that moment online this till this moment we will give you special price offer uh, for this course so uh, only for uh, today if you will apply uh, today till the midnight so you have just a few hours um, we will call you tomorrow in the working hours don't be afraid we will not call you at night and we will not call you later <laughs> don't be afraid and we will propose you join this course for with a special price uh we have um, look guys you have no possibility to join this course um like a, just click and buy why because we speak with all of you uh because we should be uh we should clear all information because this course not for beginners this you should know some information and we will ask you a few questions uh to confirm that you are ready to join this course so uh when you will push this button apply and you will leave all your information name phone number email country then you will go to next unfortunately i should uh, print my information then you will uh send us your information please be careful with your phone number because the, we should know your uh, country code plus zero or plus one i don't know uh, so your phone number should start from that uh thing okay uh so one more time only for those who will join us today we will propose tomorrow morning a uh, special price offer so uh that's all for um, small advertising i hope my render uh finishing and uh, let's check what we got uh here yeah mm, this is it which is i i think this one yeah six g uh yeah this one so let's check what we got here and how everything looks in the visualization i absolutely happy with our animation only one thing looks a little bit strange this is this line yeah uh i i should place my uh my house a little bit more left that's clear yeah because mm, these leaves cross this uh geometry but in all other uh things this visualization animation or I don't know, movie or film looks amazing. In my opinion, I like it. So let's talk a little bit. Let's watch our beautiful animation like this. And I will answer your questions. Uh, or I will answer all your questions. If you ask me something before and I did not answer you later, uh, be, uh, now, uh, please uh, repeat your question, please. Okay, that's your countries, Israel, India, South Africa, Mexico. Oh, I love Mexico. I love all countries, but my heart in Mexico for sure. I so love, love Mexico. Two years ago, I was there and that's absolutely... If you um, like to travel, you should go to Mexico. That's an amazing country. Uh, and all the rest countries are amazing too, but... <laughs> uh, I love Mexico, that's true. Uh, hi from Philippines. Oh, I never been there, but I so like these um, views, uh, pictures from Philippines too. Yeah, that's cool. And Brazil too, I never been there, but I so like pictures from Brazil. That's really, that's true. I'm not lying. Uh, I, I, I like to travel. I should be honest with you. 
А, здравствуйте. Здравствуйте. Uh, looks amazing, very cool, yeah. Uh, доброго вечера, Полтава на зв'язку. Доброго вечера! <laughs> uh, so, hello from Portugal. Hello from Portugal. Um, India, yeah, 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 that's cool. Uh, Blender, yeah, <laughs> nice joke. That was so nice joke. Of course, uh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, really, guys. Blender, still, uh, that's a really cool tool. Uh, 3ds Max, really cool tool, but sorry, not about tools. A story about artists and artist feeling and about your um, em about your emotion in the picture, yeah? So, we spent just one hour to make this beautiful picture. Uh, so, is it important which software you will work with um, to get absolutely amazing result? In my opinion, that's that's just a tool. If you can, if only thing, only... Uh, think you can work with this is or 3ds Max or either either 3ds Max or Blender. That's a bad way. I can work in Blender. I can work in 3ds Max. And I can work in Maya. I can work in Cinema 4D. That's not a problem for me because uh, because secret not in the tools. Secret in your artistic vision. What do you think? How you start work with project? What exactly you can got with project? And that's where the secret is and we work with exactly this on the course and to be honest not only in the course this uh this small um uh workshop not about difficult visualization this is about you about your artistic vision about your inspiration about your portfolio uh, did we make something difficult? No. And any other software will be the same. Nothing difficult. If your idea is beautiful, your result will be beautiful. We uh, try to navigate you in this world, in this, uh, with these ideas, how to make really beautiful pictures. Uh, so for the commercial, let's let's go to the next questions. Uh, for the commercial project, did you add more detail at of existing surrounding or this is not as important oh it depends of situation of course uh but uh for um real project like this of course i will choose a little bit more detailed bushes of course i will uh place my house a little bit to the left because that's a problem i can see here are some small uh, penetrations uh somewhere here yeah so the these three leaves cross the um, um, leaves on the bush. But one more time, this is not like final maximum version of things I can do. This is just a, a inspiration for you. That's easy to make, fast to render. You don't need really powerful computer to make something like this. You should be just inspire, inspired and you should love your work. That's the point where we, um, when we try to grow, when we try to grow your uh, portfolio, your uh, skills of visualization. Nothing difficult. Of course, you can place here much more interesting uh, bushes or other trees. You can scatter grass, for example, to get more, more smooth um, line from the from the shadows. That's uh, that's clear. You can do this, and you know how to do that. The most interesting thing, interesting thing that is the uh, workflow of this, yeah, of this uh, picture. That's absolutely simple to make, and I, 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 I will be happy if I inspire, if I can inspire some of you. And you will open your project and you will get something like this uh, for your next commercial project. And you will tag me somewhere, Instagram, Instagram, and I will feel happy that I improve your picture a little bit. Hi from Brazil. Hello, Genial. I hope so. <laughs> that's not Genial, of course, uh, but that's uh, some something maybe new for our channel um another lesson can be 
uh, symbol house contains materials without reflection, street angle, road, and environment. Yes, another can be. Um, thank you for your workshop. I have been following your workflow recently, but I wanted to ask you how to deal with three, two shots from the same scene. Do you use three different files or one three is max file? It depends on uh, on situation. Of course, if I if I can do everything in one scene, I will do everything in one scene. But you should understand my final goal to uh, to sell to the client or send to the client absolutely amazing pictures. That's my goal. If I need for this three different scenes, I will make three different scenes. If I need for this uh, two scenes, I will make two scenes. If one scene is enough, I will make one scene. But if in case I should make 10 scenes, I will make 10 scenes. Because um, the main goal is to create beautiful final project for my client. When you consider current render to F storm or V-Ray for animation in 3ds Max. Uh, yes, we, we, we work with different software. Of course, we work with Unreal Engine. Of course, we work with F storm. Of course, we work with Octane. Of course, we work with V-Ray. And the last thing we work with, this is Corona. Because Corona, this is, um, to be honest, that's a not tool for animation at all. Uh, Corona, this is a tool for still image and you know, visualization. Uh, but sometimes we can use it for animation like like this. Um, uh, but you shouldn't hear me like in Corona impossible to make animation. No, in Corona possible to make animation, but that will be like... This is not tool for this. We have better tools for uh, animation. Mm -hmm. Would you consider we what are your uh, computer spec? I can show you. I have this uh, uh, this uh, so what I have uh, this is my uh, graphic card, this is my CPU. Uh, I have uh, uh, 100. 24 I got I I think gigabytes of RAM something or 28 I forget so, so that's my computer specs uh 3D Max animation uh we need some corona animation tutorials uh I, I you, you know uh, uh I think right now we will add Corona animation tutorials exactly rendering in Corona into uh, the course. But uh, of course, I will advise you to think, uh, work with uh, some different software, uh, uh, not only Corona render for animation. But in as you can see in Corona render, you can make animation too. That's possible. Which tool is good? Render system, you mean? Uh, GPU renders. Any GPU render will be much faster and uh, more understandable than GPU uh, than CPU. Any F Storm, Octane, uh, V-Ray GPU, any of them. And to be honest, that's not the last. And of course, Unreal Engine. But uh, Unreal Engine, a uh, really cool tool, tool but uh, Unreal Engine right now developed, just, just develops. Uh, so, uh, right now, really cool time to learn Unreal Engine because <coughs> to be ready to work with Unreal Engine later. Because right now, uh, Unreal Engine ha still have uh, some limits. Not so big already, to be honest. A lot of companies uh, work with um, Unreal Engine, but for because they uh, explain that render can be faster. But okay, render faster. And so what? Uh, I think much better and much more important uh, point that's not um, exactly render time much more important thing that is project time yeah so for example if you can finish project in a in a one day or in a two days um, instead of two weeks for example 
who cares which render system you use? So I think the point about um, speed of rendering that's a little bit uh, over over overrated, a little bit. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, about the storm caustic. Uh, uh, first of all, better, much, much better will be if you will ask me anything in English because we have a uh, English speaking community right now, so that will be much more clear for all others. Um, your opinion, I, I, to be honest, I think your opinion about the storm absolutely wrong. Um, F Storm much more realistic by default than uh, Corona and V-Ray together, and uh, uh, yes, uh, F Storm doesn't have uh, Caustic, and they don't have to. They don't have plan to have F Storm. I don't want to protect F Storm, but to be honest, how often you use uh, Caustic in the uh, in the real project? Mm, I think you use it like. A, I don't know, once a year. And uh, I can show you the project we render in F-Storm and we have uh, Caustic there. So that's a sim simple thing to... Uh, I'm not sure I can show you all of these, but um, I will show you some project with Caustic, render it with F-Storm. And... Um, this one. This uh, render we render uh, in F Storm app totally because all rest uh, camera position was rendered in F Storm too. But this is uh, only one frame with pool, and then we have Cosy. How we made it? We rendered this pool in Corona. <laughs> That's a, um, a simple trick and merge it with Photoshop. So that's not a not a big deal. Where exactly you? working so you shouldn't stop fighting about render system you should think about your portfolio your beautiful picture haha <laughs> um okay can you tell me how to sell yourself as an artist and get more riches uh if you don't uh, know that uh better to have a little bit more experience like project manager in architectural visualization companies and then when you will have this experience for example one year of experience like project manager will give you answer for practical answer because any answer you will get from me right now will be not part of your own experience you will not start doing that so you can uh, you can learn how to work with uh, visualization with modern visualization you can go to the architectural visualization company uh and work like project manager uh for example half a year one year and you will get all the knowledge about it so don't be focused only on visualization you can try to work in a different part of uh, 3d world that's uh, 3d world much bigger than just simple visualization so guys that's all for today thank you uh you still have links for uh, um, our uh, professional visualization course. Professional visualization course will start in a, just in a two and a half weeks. So pretty soon. Uh, next Monday we will open uh, our Discord chat for supporting you, course participants. So uh, really, right now, time to join because later you will a uh, little bit out of time. Uh, run out of the, the time. So, uh, right now, the best time to join this course. And um, in addition, I would like to remind you, we will only, uh, in after workshop, we we'll give you a few hours to apply to get a little bit better price offer for this course. So, to improve your pictures, uh, join Render Camp. That's all for today. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye.